McLean County, the search resumes to fill a vacant seat on the county board there. In an 8-7 to seven vote last night, the board rejected the lone applicant for the District 4 seat. Our Austin Schick joins us live in our Bloomington newsroom with why the Republican majority said no to her. Austin. Well, Rebecca Shelby, applicant Crystal Abel will have to reapply to represent District 4 of McLean County. Her application rejected last night in what boiled down to a battle of Republicans versus Democrats over what say are quote over what some say are quote extreme left views. When Miss Abel is posting on social media, and I quote, "Roses are red, no lives are blue." defund the police and abolish ICE too. This is a huge red flag for the safety of this community. By a slim 8-7 to seven vote, Republicans voting no on Crystal Abel's appointment to the McLean County Board. She seemed pleasant enough a person, but I just didn't like her, uh, her stand on law enforcement. Vice Chairman Jim Soldner says a big role of the county board is protection, especially in rural areas. We rely on the, on the county sheriff to protect us out in the rural parts. So, um, in my mind, we don't have enough po po police protection in those areas, so I can't imagine trying to cut back any on that. Abel says she's not shocked, but more so disappointed by the rejection, but stands by everything she's posted on social media. You know, I don't think my views are that extreme. As she says, defunding the police means reallocating funding to more proactive approaches like therapy and mental health. I believe those kind of things create a safer community, and naturally as our communities become safer we need less law enforcement presence and i don't think there's anything wrong with that and i don't understand people that don't uh, think of that kind of future and get excited about it abel can keep reapplying for the district for vacancy she's also appearing as a candidate on the november ballot and the board is reopening applications for that board position until August 22nd at noon. It will then hold a special meeting on the August 26th to fill that vacancy. And one more note from Thursday night, state's attorney Don Knapp also tendered his resignation. The board hopes to name his replacement in September.